Next project, sort out the shower room. So we're going to get some new vinyl for there because that's gone down well in the kitchen. So it's very tricky to get something that fits properly on here. So we are going to take the sink out, sand this back, prep it properly so we can paint it. We're going to keep this sink for now. We were going to change it. We're going to keep that, put new taps on, and hopefully that'll be okay for now. You can see how sort of dry all this is, so that's going to need a good sanding. But the plan today is to sand all of this. Not the doors yet. We haven't decided on any of the doors in the boat, so we're going to leave them. And then, hold on, let me move that round. Bear with me, just drop something. Sorry about the camera work. And then, again, sanding today, painting. All the ceiling's going to be painted. So this, these are the last two now, and then the whole boat, um, the ceiling's been painted. So I'm really looking forward to doing that. Um, paint these bits. Not doing anything else with the shower at the moment other than giving it a really good clean. At some point we want to put new doors on, but that'll be another project. Um, again, we've got to sand all this and paint it. I want to change the light fitting at some point, but we need to have a think about what we're going to do with that. Again, look, because that um, gets the steam from the shower. It's gonna be a bit monkey. All the these are being kept towards so they'll all be sanded and varnished. Um these are where we've on a previous video you'll have seen that we rerouted the aerial. Um so we need to fill these whole well I've filled those, they just need sanding and then another coat of paint. So we shall see how this comes out today. found this look if you've watched our previous vlogs you'll know we had a leak into there but we've just noticed just where i'm shining the torch on the can't see it on there it's a bit uh, light isn't it just in that corner there there's a bit of dampness again you can see it's black again down there so we think that is coming from inside there the lip of the seal on the shower door so we're gonna to have to seal that look how grim it looks a little better after i promise time to try and get the sink out just done a test of uh, sanding through there because that was varnished before then it's been painted so we wanted to check that and uh, chris is uh, take you down into the depths that's a cupboard. <laughs> I'm just going to get the sink off. Sorry, dodgy camera work there again. Sink's out. <laughs> look, at, look at that. Oh, someone, this, we did not do this. Just want to put that disclaimer on. <laughs> look at the state of the chop holes in it to create the sink. <laughs> Mm, the depths of the cupboard. Right, time to try and get this paint off now. Probably worse than that if we'd have done it. <laughs> yeah, probably. Proper misty morning this morning in the marina. Look at that. I'm just going to take you up here. Let's have a look at our hire car. Uh, this is the car we've got for a few days. Where did we get it from? Enterprise. Enterprise, who were very good by the way, the one mm. in Stafford. Absolutely brilliant. Really nice to deal with. Yeah, the pickers up from the marina, which is great. Look at that inside. Very fancy. Oh, let's 
talking to us look <laughs> right so we're off to go and get some jobs and things done now Here's another look around there while well, we've got a car and can collect bits and bobs right so we've just got in a car ready to go and get some bits and bobs that we need carpet vinyl and stuff look at how cold it is minus one Get the heaters on, no heated seats in here unfortunately, but never mind. Right, see you at the shops. Carpet and vinyl purchased <laughs> in the car, ready to go back. <laughs> found these up. Easier to fit. Three quid. Time for the sink to go out so we can put the new taps on. Storage in the shower. I'm just checking to make sure we can take these and fit the new taps on. Yeah, we'll see. Everywhere is sanded and holes fillered where needed taking out the porthole thingy my bobs casings that's all been fillered sanded and now the primer is about to go on first coat of primer going on you'll notice rookie mistake we haven't masked this off yeah, <laughs> I'll stop filming in a minute and uh, mask that up. And we got a bit carried away and uh, we've um, started doing this. Look, that's where I got to with the masking. And we just had to hit it. So that's the first coat of primer on there. Lots more to do, but at least it's a start. I'm just, hello. I'm just cleaning up the sink now for there. You join us at a momentous, is that right? Momentous, yeah. yeah, occasion where we are going to start painting the final ceiling in the boat. The shower room is the last one to be painted white. <laughs> the whole boat, that's right, isn't it? We've yeah. done all the other rooms, haven't we? Right, I'll let you do a little bit. I'm there. Uh, Chris is painting this while I'm making a Sunday dinner, so I'm just filming this. I can feel paint going on there. This is where I wouldn't <laughs> normally start it. No, just just for filming purposes in case yeah, anyone wants. Should I go on your phone? It's a fact that if you don't have stuff in, it's not a proper Sunday dinner. And Yorkshire's, even at Christmas. First coat of paint done, now time for the Sunday dinner. Nice. Hope everyone enjoyed the last vlog showing the kitchen and dinette. So as promised now, we're doing the lounge. So we've taken up all the trim, moved everything. We're gonna move that out, try and put it in the shower room in the minute. Shower room has been sanded and has had one coat of primer. So that's a work in progress as well. It's Monday afternoon today, 2.30, and we've got to be out of the marina on Friday, so we've got a lot to get done. Um, but yeah, so we've cleared everything. This is a new carpet. So we're gonna, we're, we're thinking it might be quite <laughs> easy to fit. <laughs> so we shall see. Um, but as always, we'll show you it after. I'm just gonna have my coffee first. We've just unravelled the carpet just to try and work out where we're starting from and what we're doing. Hoping it should be pretty easy. We've got a bit to fit in there and obviously cut out where the fire is. But um, yeah, the trim's going to go back down there. So looks easy, famous last words. We've not completely finished. We've still got some faffing 
of trims to do and uh, we've got to get um, like a join thing for the liner, liner, vinyl and the carpet. Still got these to fit but um, we're going to put the unit back here so I wanted to just quickly show you before we put the unit in place. Um, just because we've been at this now. Chris is on the floor trying to sort the door out. We started at, was it half two? So we've not done bad. It's been pretty, pretty easy up yeah, until the point bad. we got to these trims and then they wouldn't um, screw down into there. So Chris has had to drill holes in all of them to fit them in. But let me... Go back a bit and show you. Look. Ta da Still lots to do, but it's looking great. Cool. Quick update on where we are with the shower room. So these have all had two lots of primer and two coats of gloss. So we're thinking possibly one more before it's signed off so there's the ceiling all done these are we can't decide whether we're going to do these white or green so we're gonna wait a, a little bit and see what we want to do oh that's got to be green this is coming along nicely it's come up really well be glad to get the sink back in so we've got the taps again i just realized it looks like some kind of head dumped it lot as he is. Anyway, got distracted. So yes, yeah, so all the coats have gone on. Bar one, which hopefully we're going to do later. We took these trims off just so it gives a nicer finish at the end when we pop them back on. And I've started just... Um, look, I'm, I've got some of my vinyl sticky stuff, which I'm going to do in the cubby holes. To make that look a little bit nicer. Yeah, another job being done. Time to fit the, what we're calling it? Uh, joining trim. Joining trim along here. See how that goes. All done. You wouldn't believe what a faff that was to get that in, but we had to sort of lift up all the wood and then we had to stick down there, cut that to fit. That looks great, really nice transition from them both. Very happy. We have a few seconds spare in between fitting the carpet trim and waiting for the paint to dry. So this is the rug that we had down here, which we don't want down anymore because we've fitted the new carpet. So we're going to cut it up and put it in the bedroom along here. I won't show you the whole bedroom because it's a tip. Um, yeah, the bedroom because it's a tip. We've got all the stuff from the shower room in there. So we'll see whether that works. This has come out better than we expect to look. So we, we managed to get one whole strip all the way down there and then it joins here as you can see which we've put tape on and then we used one another full piece to cut all the way around there and right into the corner very very pleased to say you know it saved us spending more money which we can't afford after all the DIY and it's reused the the rug. Lovely getting out of bed now onto this nice soft carpet. Very pleased. So once we've done the vinyl we'll put another strip in there. We've only got a few little bits just to touch up on the paint. So we are going to as you can see, start the tiling because we're sort of running out of time now, really, to get it done. Excited to see what it looks like. Um.
to do with spirit level, really. I'll find it in a minute. We never get prepared for anything. We never they're have on, all, aren't they? we never have all the tools ready. <laughs> what do you reckon they're on? Yeah, that's all right. As it sticks in. These are the tiles that we bought from um was it Wix or B and Q we've gone for three quid. Oh yeah. Look at that. Look at that, some live DIY for you. So much easier than having to cut the tiles, that's why I went with these. That's the first few on look. Oh, actually, I think just looking on there, that's not quite level. So I'll just move that up a bit. That's it. I mean, so far, these are so easy to yeah. put on. Very impressed. Until they all drop off. <laughs> As soon as we start the engine and cruise, <laughs> all the DIY we've done over the last three months. I've put all the bits and bobs on the bed. These are all what we've got to do now. So this is looking from there, love. Did I have uh, all the gaps look all right? Hold on. We're going to try and get all these bits on the bed sorted today and put back, so we don't have to move them one hundred gazillion times around the boat. This is the new bathroom cabinet. That's obviously the sink. The trims won't be finished today because we've got to spray them. We have bought some spray for them, so we'll show you that once we've done it. And then these are all the wood trims, um, towel rail and things like that. New taps in there, look. And then there are all the bits and bobs, the vents and all that kind of stuff. So we're going to see see how much we can get done but for now time to build this first coat of green has gone on in a few areas as you can see we've tried the sink in there it's not plumbed in yet just testing it see how it all looks after much deliberation we've decided to paint this bit green in a minute we've got a cabinet to go on there but it was just too difficult to cut these pieces um, with the rubbish tile cutter we've got so we've decided um, to paint it green the trims are going back up on the ceiling getting all the final jobs done still got to take off, take off the masking tape just going to put the vent back up Stop it, love. <laughs> Take. Ready for the new taps. Exciting. 